Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and if you haven't seen the last episode of SnowRunner that we did, I would definitely recommend that you go and watch that before you watch today's episode. Uh, in that episode we went and explored the Drummond Island map in the brand new APC tank. It was a lot of fun and at the end of that video we actually discovered a brand new truck the Pacific P16. It's an absolutely beast truck and today we are actually going to be customizing that truck and using it to haul a massive trailer. So if you want to watch that episode I will leave a link in the description below to a playlist I've made with all the SnowRunner videos I've made so far. But today let's get into the Pacific P16. I've got it here in the garage and today we're going to go ahead and customize the thing. Now a small disclaimer before we get into the customization, I have actually been driving this thing a lot recently. Uh, since that video I've been driving this thing around all the maps, exploring, using this thing for nearly every mission possible and I have to say it is actually an awesome vehicle but I have not in any way customized this thing so all what you see is the stock customization I haven't touched the thing I've purely been using it to tow trailers and the other thing I have not taken it to the snow yet I've only been using it in Russia and in Michigan so today we're going to be taking it to the snow so that'll be the first time I have actually driven this thing in the snow. But anyway, let's get into the customization. We have got a bunch of engines we can throw into the thing. The Westline V12 here is actually the best one, although your fuel consumption does go down a little bit. Um, but we can't put any of those in, so I'm going to leave the stock one. The gearbox, there is obviously the two different gearboxes you can get. Uh, you can't actually raise the suspension, but through my testing, I've not had any issues with the ride height. It's got pretty good ground clearance, so I don't really see that as an issue. The tires, unfortunately, there's not really any tires you can put on this thing. It just comes with the stock tires, but you can see there the on-road is average, but that doesn't really matter. But off-road and mud are excellent, and I can say this thing is pretty good in mud. It doesn't have any all-wheel drive. It does have diff locks in the rear, and um, it is pretty good in the mud, so you don't really have to worry too much about the tires. The winch, um, you can actually get the twin motor heavy winch. This is only available on certain trucks. Um, this was one of the winches available on the twin steer. Um, so if you want to put that on, you can do. I'm not going to put it on for this video. Uh, frame add-ons, there is only one frame add-on you can put on this thing and that is the saddle high, which we are going to need for today's episode. So we'll put that on there. There is actually a snorkel you can put on this thing, so it comes stock with this stock air filter down here. And you can go ahead and put a wedge cap air filter on if you want to. Um, but the fact that this thing is such a massive truck, it is quite high off the ground. Um, the water sort of clearance is not that bad in this thing, so... If you want to put it on, I guess you can, but you don't really need to. The stock air filter works just fine. And then in visual stuff, there is a few things we can do. The exhaust, we can go for a wedge cap exhaust. I always think the wedge cap looks a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. Um, you can go for the muzzle exhaust, you can get the flat cap, or you can have the stock. I honestly think the stock just looks the best. Miscellaneous, you can go for quad horns on the bonnet there, or you can have external horns, which I don't know where they are, um, but I think the quad horns just looks a bit weird, so I'm not going to put that on. The front bumper, you can get the reinforced front bumper. You can have the hinged front bumper, which does give you a little bit less ground clearance. You can have the heavy duty bumper which is basically the same one that we have on the ANK and on the twin steer or you can have the stock 
front bumper there. I actually think the stock looks the best on this car, uh, on this truck, sorry. Um, it sort of matches the truck. On the front side, you can go ahead and put a Pacific sun visor. So I quite like that. We'll put that on and we can actually see the horns up there now as well. And then there are no rims you can put on this thing, but honestly, the stock rims on this thing look pretty cool. And then in paint options, there are a couple of different two-tones. So it comes stock with this yellow, green, and white sort of livery, I guess you could call it. You can go for the blue, dark blue, and white with the yellow wheels. You can go for light green, dark green, white, and the yellow wheels. You can have red, white, and the yellow wheels. I guess the yellow wheels just stay on whatever you choose. Or you can go for the orange, black, with the white sun visor and the yellow wheels. Um, but unfortunately, I think the stock here actually looks the best. I do like that. And that is the thing fully customized. There isn't actually a whole lot you can do with this thing, but honestly, it looks pretty cool. Just stock. Um, there isn't a lot of things that I would want to change on this thing. I just like how it is. Uh, but today, we are actually back here in Northport in Alaska because today I've got kind of a special trip that I want to make. We are here at the garage and we're going to be traveling along this road down here to here and I'll show you when we get there but the trailer we're going to be towing today is absolutely massive. It's one of the biggest trailers in this game and we have to deliver it over here to the port. So it's not really a big journey uh, but I have driven this road in a scout just to sort of scout ahead and see how bad it is Doesn't seem too bad, but with a massive trailer and a massive truck it could give us a bit of grief and We do have to get it into the port. So it's gonna be a bit of an interesting video But hopefully it should be quite exciting. It's a massive trailer So I figured that the Pacific P16 is a massive truck. It's more than capable of completing the task basically Okay, so as I mentioned, I have driven this thing quite a bit, so I am fairly familiar with sort of how this thing drives. The steer back speed, I have to say, is a bit slow, so that's something to get used to. Um, but I've only driven this thing in Russia and Michigan, so I've not driven this thing yet in Alaska on the snow. So this will be my first experience of the Pacific P16 in the snow. So I actually found out that this thing is a real truck. Um, it's not just a sort of snow runner made truck. This is actually a real life truck. Um, I have a picture of it on screen now. There's many videos you can go and watch on YouTube of this thing. And it's primarily used for logging in sort of Alaska and uh, you know you know logging sort of territory up in Canada and places like that and I've got to say it's an awesome truck I really want one of these in real life I know they probably cost a bomb and you wouldn't be able to get them in England but it's just an awesome looking truck and we're now going to be taking this thing off-road so I can show you guys how good this thing is at off-roading. So um, there is a little bit of a mud bog here. I'm not going to go straight through the middle. Uh, I'm going to keep to the edge just in case we do need to use the winch and I'm going to stick in low range. But the mud bogs that I've taken it to so far it was okay with. Um, the fact that this thing is so wide is actually a good thing. Those of you who are in the line of farming or that play farming sim will know that if you have big fat tyres on your tractor, it's actually very good because it means that your tractor floats on the land a little bit better. You're less likely to sink. And because this thing's so wide, the tyres are so wide, um, it has less pressure on the ground so it doesn't dig in as much. 
Um, I mean, obviously this thing weighs an absolute bomb. So it probably does dig in quite a bit. The front end is dragging through the ground, but it is still moving forwards, which is impressive. And we haven't had to use the winch yet. Although I fear we might need to now. Yeah, okay, right. So we are going to just have to use the winch for this last bit. But, I mean, it made it through the worst of that. I think he was actually just stuck on a little twig or something. Come on, Pacific. You can get out of there. There we go. And we are through. So there are actually, um, I think, two Pacific trucks you can get in this game. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there is the Pacific P-16, which is what we're driving here. And there is also the sister truck, the Pacific P-12, which is slightly smaller. Um, but that thing does have all-wheel drive on it. Um, so you can get both of those trucks in this game. We'll probably be unlocking the Pacific P-12 at some point in the near future. Um, but that thing has all-wheel drive. So it's basically an all-wheel drive version of the Pacific P-16. So, I believe that truck is slightly better just because of that feature. Um, but, you can see here, it's really not having any issues with this territory. And, the other thing, which is quite nice, is because this thing is so wide, that is really its best feature. It doesn't roll that easily. I mean... If you have something with quite a low center of gravity, such as this thing, and it's very wide, it's unlikely to roll. I'm not saying it can't roll, but it is a very stable truck. As far as the big rigs I've used so far, this thing is definitely the most stable one. So this is the road we're going to have to bring the semi-trailer back. And when I say semi-trailer, it's more of a house on wheels. Um, that bit there should be fun. We may roll it into the lake, but hopefully we don't. Um, the first little bit just up here in a minute is tarmac, so that won't be too bad. Um, the truck itself is actually not struggling too bad with this terrain. And the distance we have to take this thing is not that bad. The main issue that I'm going to see is tight corners and sort of steep slopes because I don't know whether this thing is going to have, it's got the power, but I don't know whether this thing has the grip to pull it up a steep slope. And here we go, there is the oil rig salvage semi trailer, try saying that three times quick, but as you can see. It is a pretty big trailer. Maybe not as big as some of you are expecting, but as far as this game goes, I believe it is the biggest trailer you can get in this game. Um, there is actually a couple of these trailers in the game on various different maps. Uh, this one is in Northport. And the Pacific P16, which I have here, is a massive truck. When I parked this thing next to the Hummer before, was just doing a little size comparison it is massive but that trailer makes this truck look tiny uh, but anyway we've got the saddle high we've got the Pacific P16 let's go ahead and hitch this thing on it's lovely right there let's go ahead and attach that there we are we've got the big monstrous trailer on the back this is quite a large load I'd like to zoom out a little bit further, I'm not going to lie. I think we're going to be driving mainly with the front camera. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to the port. So we basically, we basically need to follow the route that we've just come on. And then I have built the sort of bridge to cross over to the port. I did that like when I first came to Northport so it should be okay so this first bit just driving out the warehouse I guess you could call it is actually tarmac 
just to sort of get you used to the trailer I'm guessing uh, and then you're straight onto the mud so this will be an interesting test for this thing we are already struggling a little bit I can imagine this trailer probably weighs quite a lot the truck itself weighs a lot but with that trailer on yeah it's a pretty big trailer okay so we've got to our first little interesting part here it is a little bit of a slope I can't really go to the left here because uh, that rock is right there I'm just gonna take in fact I'm gonna put this in low range so we're going a little bit slower this is quite nerving I'm not gonna lie because if you get it wrong well you go into the lake basically so let's take this nice and slow this thing doesn't have a problem with rolling which is good or not that I've experienced yet but we do now have this massive trailer on so it is a lot more unsteady than it usually is that is also quite a big lean that we have going on oh this is kind of like ice road truckers when they transport massive machinery um what have we got in front okay so we've got that other slope in front this one looks actually a little bit worse it seems to be sloping a bit more i i'm absolutely bricking myself doing this in a video game because well, I mean, obviously I want to make a good video for you guys, but if I had to do this in real life, I don't think my underpants would be the same colour right now. Please don't say we're stuck. Back tyres are spinning. Okay, we're good. I might actually go for a little bit of speed here. I'm, I'm going to keep it in low range, but just... Um, Hmm. A little bit of speed may sort of stop it tipping to the side. Actually, I'm going to go automatic just so we got a little bit more power. Come on, truck. Okay, we'll go for a little reverse and a bit of a run up. Okay, come on. That's it. Come on. Okay, I think we are a little bit stuck. Let's go for a winch. Um. Hmm. Not really sure where we're going to winch this thing to. I'm going to go to that pull with the side. I don't think that's going to do anything. But let's give it a try. Also don't want to get the back wheels on the rocks too much because it's going to lift that side up. And that has actually done it okay that's not too bad so the rest of the way there are no more horrible slopes like that but there is a few tight corners and in case you haven't already figured that out this thing is about as long as a Boeing 747 so it's gonna be interesting I should also mention since you saw me last um, the game has been updated it was nothing significant um, it didn't add anything new to the game but it did add well it didn't add anything new but it did fix the light on the truck so you can see on the front of the truck now the lights actually do work which they didn't previously um, it did sort of light up the the path in front of you so basically how lights should work but the lights themselves on the truck appeared as though they were turned off so I'm glad that they've fixed that it's a nice little quality of life thing that they've updated uh, we are stuck again this corner here as well it doesn't look that bad but this is a tight corner for what we're towing you really have to keep momentum in this thing if you stop and try and go again you just won't so I've got to go really wide here 
because the back of the trailer is going to struggle around that corner and I don't want it to do that that is quite a bit of angle um, I'm going to go for a reverse right let's go a bit more straight aim for that sign ok that looks not too bad the truck is leaning one way the trailer is leaning the other way it's a bit interesting right I think we are almost at that bog again there's a little bit of uphill here but there is some mud here so hopefully we don't get stuck actually seems to be doing okay it's not having any issues with that this is the bog though in front of us I'm going to stick to the edge again um, just in case we do need to winch ourselves out hopefully the winch has enough power to pull this thing out if we do get it stuck I'm going to stick it back in low range just so we're not spinning the tyres let's just see how we fare this time alright we've got the trailer on and the wheels are now fully in the bog it is still moving and it stopped right let's go for a winch let's see if the winch has enough power okay yeah so the winch does have enough power thank god for that you can fit the heavy duty winch or what the high powered winch on this thing the like twin motor one I didn't go and do that I probably should have done oh come on truck it's still moving under its own power which is you know one thing Something that I found that was quite cool as well, that I hadn't actually noticed, if you have like a, well, it works basically with any truck, uh, including the Scouts and any vehicle in this game, if you park in the middle of this bog here, your truck will actually start to sink. Now it won't obviously go like right through the map or anything like that, but because it's thick mud, if you just drive through it quickly, you'll sort of skate along the top. But if you park up and leave it, you can actually watch the truck slowly sinking down. Which is a little thing that you don't really notice. And if you don't notice that when you're off-roading, it can be slightly concerning because you can't actually get your truck going again. So never stop in the middle of a bog if you don't have a very good truck. If you think your truck might not be able to make it through skirt along the edges but do not park in the middle of it and sort of debate what you're going to do just try and keep moving all right so we've got actually to the main road now um this is going to be a bit interesting because we now have to get this around the corner i think i'm going to keep it in low range i'm going to go forwards 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 and then I'm going to aim for that telegraph pole make sure I don't hit it we may take out them signs yeah there they go honestly I think if this was real life I don't think you'd do much better Okay, so we are now on the main road. Uh, I'm actually just going to pause the map. Yeah, so the bridge I was on about earlier is right here. Usually this bridge is um, broken. I did go and repair that off camera. Not for this video specifically, but when I first came to Northport, I was having an explore and I thought I'd do that. So luckily that's not going to be an issue. The rest of the road I think is paved if my memory serves and we just have to deliver it to here I really have to think about corners though because I can't just turn into a corner like I normally would even with a normal like semi trailer corners are not really too bad with this thing you really have to think about corners you can't just take a corner normally and especially like tight corners where there are rocks on either side like this this is actually not too bad because it's fairly straight but if that had been a tighter corner 
you just simply couldn't make it through there was no way you would make it that's another thing I've just thought of is this actually gonna fit under the bridge I hope it is because I don't think there's any other way we can take this thing okay yeah it is gonna fit thank God for that luckily it's not too tall it is long it's not that wide so it's not a wide trailer that's fine it is long but it's not too tall either so it's one thing going for it right I believe just down here is the entrance to the port in fact there it is and they've also got a horrible entrance to the port they have this stupid little chicane that we have to deal with we may take out the power lines or we may just crash into a concrete block I think we may take out that little building if we're not too careful alright we're just gonna we're just gonna scrape it on that little barrier thing there alright we are through where do we need to deliver this thing to? Um, over there, okay. But we are there. We have finally made it. And the trailer's just gonna despawn. Yeah. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant. Um, you don't get a massive payout for this thing. You get 360 RP and you get um, three grand for this. So not a massive payout. Um, it's not really that difficult of a task altogether this has probably taken me about 40 minutes to drive there and back with the trailer um, but yeah that is a little bit of a look at the Pacific P16 we went ahead and customized the thing and we discovered how good this thing is uh, at towing massive semi trailers it is incredibly good if you guys haven't got the Pacific P16 yet I definitely recommend that you do go and get it if you want to know the location for it then go and watch the previous episode I showed the location off in that episode uh, but that is going to do it for today's episode thank you all so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode